Okay, this video is to show you that the amplituhedron is not actually a partial geometric structure of the star tetrahedron. It appears that it is from the angles that it sits at on the drawing originally created by the uh, discoverers of the amplituhedron. And some are saying that it's actually just a portion of a star tetrahedron. Uh, if you were to fit four of them together, you would get um, a star tetrahedron. Star tetra tetrahedron, excuse me. And that if this one design here, this one geometric shape, is just a quarter of the underlying structure of the universe, which is a star star tetrahedron. Um, even though it looks that way it appears that it's not. If you were to take one, two, three, four tetrahedrons and put them together geometrically, you would actually get something a little bit more like this. Here's one, two, three, four tetrahedrons put together. And if you compare the two, they're, they're a bit different. Um, in their geometries um, visually. They're exactly the same in their geometries, but visually they're quite a bit different. You can see the angles here, what appears to be a corner of a star tetrahedron, when you actually look at it put together equilaterally, um, uh, it's the angle's a lot different. Um, you can take a star tetrahedron here and, and uh, what well, it it does look like it fits, but see the angles there are the same, but when you match it up to what it actually is, it's quite a bit different. So if we were going to compare the two, well, I have a star tetrahedron here, and um, and the amplituhedron, and let's let's pretend the yellow ones and the green ones are exactly the same. The blue ones, or the blue pieces are just added to show the full tetrahedron. The red ones are what's different. So as you can see, the yellow and the green are the same. Whoops, I just broke it. Put it back together here. Okay, so here we go again. Um, the green and the yellow are supposed to be the same, right? And the red ones are supposed to be different. So, let's see the best angle on this. All right. Now, on the red pieces, You have on the actual amplituhedron, you have one, two, three, four red pieces. On the star tetrahedron, you have one, two, three, four, five, six um, for it to fit right. You can't actually get the amplituhedron to fit in a star tetrahedron, okay? Because First of all, the inside of the star tetrahedron is an oct octahedron. The octahedron um, completely fits in the middle of one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight tetrahedrons. And then, as you can see on the amplituhedron, there's no inner geometry fitting into an octahedron. You can see the octahedron here one, um, inside the tetrahedron. And you can look it up online and, and see the structure of a tetrahedron. It's actually a star tetrahedron. Star tetrahedron is an octahedron inside um, surrounding tetrahedrons. Now if you want to see what it actually looks like, we'll take off all the blue pieces. 
and compare it to the actual amplitohedron. So now, now you can actually see all the, the differences. Again, the green and the yellow are um, what would have been the same other than the angle, right? And so you can see quite a bit of difference. Um, you want to recreate this amplitohedron. We're going to take off this piece here. Going to add a few more pieces. And we got to pull the angle together. There, there, to there. Now they're actually identical. So, again, too many um, different angles on the uh, star tetrahedron. So, anyways, um, just to show you that the amplitohedron is not actually a part of a star tetrahedron whatever whatever this is and I haven't I don't have enough pieces or a, a um, computer program to fit these all together to see what kind of shape it makes uh, if it was to be um, completely uh, encompassing of a full geometry basically uh, symmetrical you would have to add another piece from there to there I think to, to fit it together and in, into a, a complete geometrical shape um, but I may be wrong I don't know is I don't I don't know what this shape actually makes up if you were to fit them all together into one whole unit that perfectly fits all pieces inside a whole equilaterally um, but the, that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to show you that the amplitohedron is not actually um, a part of the star tetrahedron. The, the, the angles don't match. S but this may be part of some other geometry, which you could find out. Let me know if you do. Thank you.